This clip of the Texas Bucket List is brought to you by Spirit of Texas Bank and Slovacek Sausage. Howdy, and welcome back to the Texas Bucket List. Next up on the show, we head down to South Texas to visit a museum right outside the Harlingen Airport dedicated to one of the biggest battles of World War II. But what gets your attention about this museum isn't what's inside, it's what's outside. It's a monument worthy of our nation's capital. At the Marine Military Academy in Harlingen, you'll find the only private military boarding school in the world rooted in the traditions and values of the U.S. Marines. With such a heavy Marine presence in this part of Texas, it's fitting that you'll also find the Iwo Jima Museum right across the street. This is a map of the island of Iwo Jima. Gloria Bowling is in charge of this small museum that has so much history to offer. In this case over here, we've got weapons that have been donated. The museum is dedicated to the battle for Iwo Jima, and it only takes up a few rooms, but it brings in people from all over the world to pay their respects and honor those who fought in one of the bloodiest battles in Marine Corps history. The feeling is great when people come through here and say, you have the greatest little museum. I mean, it's two little bitty rooms packed full of stuff. The artifacts and stories behind the battle are only part of the reason people stop and reflect at this museum. It's what's outside that really draws people's attention. You see, just in front of the Iwo Jima Museum, you'll find an American flag flying high under the South Texas sun. And it's part of the Iwo Jima Memorial you'll find right here in Texas. You're driving down the road and you see this memorial here and they just squeal around and come in. Yeah. The monument is the model Dr. Felix W. DeWeldon created to be cast in bronze and erected at the Arlington National Cemetery in 1954. Dr. DeWeldon donated the original full-size model to the Marine Military Academy to help inspire the cadets, and here it has sat for over 30 years. Totally unexpected. I really I was surprised when I drove by it. Jim Sasko from Missouri stopped by the memorial to get an appreciation for the monument that graces two locations, Washington, D.C. and Texas. I think the one you see in Washington is intermingled with so many other great monuments uh, that maybe it loses a little something, whereas this here, first the size and then the fact that it is by itself. The 32-foot high figures hoisting a 78-foot steel flagpole simply takes your breath away. It's a recreation of the moment that the flag was raised on Iwo Jima during the battle for the island on February 23, 1945. Associated Press photographer Joe Rosenthal caught the moment that inspired the nation and made five Marines a sign of hope towards the end of World War II. But who were these young American heroes? Well, you can find their stories inside the museum but there's one Marine they pay considerable attention to thanks to his connection to this part of Texas. These are all the artifacts that we have of Harlem Blocks and the story is quite unique. The whole class volunteered or enlisted at the same time. A native of Westlaco, Block joined the Marine Corps in 1943. He was only 20 years old when he helped hoist the flag on Mount Sarabachi. Six days later, he was killed in action. Today, you'll find Harlan, a native son of Texas, buried next to the memorial that he's a part of. A lot of people don't know that we had someone from the valley, you know, from this area that is depicted on the memorial. Finding his gravesite next to this piece of immortalized history gives you even more perspective of the price paid by the greatest generation that ever lived. They were all very young and a few of them came back, some of them didn't. Um, but you know, for him, he, he is quite remarkable that he is one of the flag raisers, you know, that we have out here on the memorial. Visiting the Iwo Jima Memorial is more than just appreciating an incredible piece of American art and learning about our nation's history. It's a chance to truly pay respects to the men who fought and died defending our country's freedom. Well, I think those people sacrifice so much. Um, the ones who are serving, the ones who 
who have uh, been killed in action, the ones who are still suffering and on their back. I think anything that brings awareness to our soldiers and our heroes uh, really needs to be shown in the forefront. The reason the, the memorial was given to the school was to produce that integrity that those people had, that you know those uh, soldiers had at that time, which seems to kind of be lost. But everyone should come in and get that feeling.